so the start of this episode didn't really surprise me too much um or like i guess the just how it all went down you know they're still in the literally where town uh just like dealing with the this initial outbreak of uh of the released souls and ghosts and ghouls um and you know that was to be expected and our big bad ghost boy is jack the ripper of course uh gotta get him in there um <laughs> and he's uh you know running shit running the town con controlling all the lesser ghosts and um just planning to get out and planning their you know assault and shit um so what else um during all this there's i mean the the town's folk are like uh losing their shit and they're going i mean that's how the episode started uh well i guess this chick was just going back to her house not really freaking out but like after she goes missing people start freaking out and like you know a few people uh eventually get taken over by some ghosts or just controlled i guess i don't know if there's i'm not sure how it works exactly there's like because there's a lot of fucking ghosts that like are just there but i don't know if they're all like in form or if uh i guess it depends on the type of ghost so i guess that doesn't really matter but uh there is a fuck ton of ghosts and so sam and dean and Cass can't just like in new jack they can't just like go in there and get rid of them uh but luckily when they're i think i don't know who was getting fucked up but Somebody was getting fucked up, and uh, Based Catch shows up and uh, uses his, his new ghost gun, blasts the ghosts, gets rid of them, um, super clutch, and so he shows up. Uh, they, they're not sure why at first, but um, turns out he's there to um, assassinate New Jack, and uh, that was interesting too because he said a certain uh demon which i think new jack even named or catch or somebody named uh so i don't know if they were also like unleashed just in a different area and and what that means exactly because like if if they got unleashed alongside or like they just got out or left like new jack did you know it was sort of just like I guess that's the same with all the ghosts, but, like, um, yeah, so, um, if they got out, did other ghosts get out, and demons, more importantly, get out in different areas? Is this an isolated thing? It's not exactly clear, at least I'm not that clear on it, if that's the case, but I, whether or not that's the case, there's this other demon that at least knows that New Jack is, like, um, you know, on Earth, and they want them dead, and Catch is, is their guy, <laughs> um, but then, like, he right away is like, oh, well, if he's with you guys, then I don't give a shit, <laughs> so Catch is, uh, based as fuck, as always, um, and, uh, and so he enters the fray, um, around, uh, yeah, he came first, and then Rowena shows up, I believe, um, just shortly after. And right away, they're like, uh, you know, I fucking the shit out of each other. And um, uh, so they have a plan. Rowena basically is going to do the same thing she did previously with a bunch of ghosts uh, or some shit. And uh, so that's like their plan they're working on. We got Cass and Dean. Uh, they were talking, Dean's, Dean's like really fucked up about, um, the whole deal with Chuck and the whole, re uh, revelation of last season and the finale. And I get why, but like, it's just, it's a real bummer <laughs> just having Dean just like really, d uh, down in the dumps, you know, and, um, just like completely hopeless basically right now again and and we're having Cass be the dude to like cheer him up which obviously doesn't work um so he's you know he's just like not um 
<laughs> that's choking my brain. What is? What is Pena? <laughs> Be specific. Um, yeah, so he... I don't know. It's just... Uh, I was I was thinking Dean would be the guy to be more optimistic, I guess. And, you know, I feel like he... I mean, maybe it's just uh, for now, because he does, like, obviously beat himself up a lot. But uh, I was hoping he'd be more on the rebound of, like... Or more pissed off that, like, that they're having to deal with Chuck in this way. Um, and just, like, everything... Uh, culminating to this oh shit drop my notes um you know and just be more be more like angry and wanting to like uh go against the status quo that's been like set up um uh or orchestrated for them it i don't know you know it, it makes sense but like i'm hoping he's not gonna like it's not going to go in the other direction and he's not going to ever oops run into a lot of geo dudes uh a lot of information about <laughs> i don't know <laughs> without sleeping but <laughs> have you uh rip donuts no donuts too damn man brutal uh get some coffee <laughs> hopefully you got some coffee at least um, well, I don't know, this is, I'll wrap it up, it's, uh, <laughs> there's really not much else to say about this episode, like, it was, it was a nice gesture by Cass to go over and, you know, talk to Dean, but Dean's, you know, sad puppy dog boy, yet again, um, broken heart, broken hearted thanks to Chuck, and, uh, so I think when, maybe when yeah, he's he's just gonna shake this one off. I'm thinking, but hopefully it's soon, because uh, it's it hurts, man. It hurts seeing hurts seeing Dean like this. <laughs> um, okay, so what else? Yeah, we got Kevin back too. Um, so, and and that's also depressing with him back, and he's just like, like they thought. <sighs> Wait, so. I don't remember exactly how his his whole thing went down like at the end when he like finally at least when they thought he went to heaven because i think they like assumed he was there god i can't remember how it went but like um turns out turns out he's been in hell right and because <laughs> like with other people like and uh um like i think sam brought it up he's like well you know we've uh obviously um, cause I think, I don't know who said it, like new Jack maybe said it where he's like, yeah, there's no way a hell can, um, oh, that's what it was. Kevin was originally in hell and then they thought he went to heaven, but he did not. In fact, he, he actually just stayed in hell, I guess. <laughs> I think that's how it went down. Um, I might be wrong. I can't really remember, but, um, uh, yeah. So new Jack says, um, like, yeah, no, there's no chance for a, a soul to, that's gone to hell to then go to heaven, right? And Sam and Dean are just like, yeah, no, we've definitely, you know, sent souls from hell to heaven before. Like, that's that's definitely possible. And, and New Jack is just like, well, that's one of the perks of being friends with, uh, with God, right? Because um, at the time, or at those times in, in the in their past, like with Bobby, or, uh, I guess their mom and dad, uh, I don't really know anyone else off the top of my head, but, you know, they've done it before, right, we all know this, and, um, uh, so yeah, it's basically like New Jack said, I believe it was New Jack, um, they, the only reason why they got those, those good things that they, uh, really wanted to happen was because of Chuck and it's you know it's one of those things where he's obviously the uh, the fucking the fucking doflamingo guy here pulling the strings and um 
in the first place, right? So it's like, it's also his fault that they had to go to uh, hell or heaven. Um, but nonetheless, uh, he's right. They they got these these really uh, special benefits, these perks, um, uh, just by being on his good side at the time, I guess. Be because with Kevin, I guess, uh, I mean, he wasn't around at the time, too, so... But he also would have known um, or had been in control. So it's like only with his power uh, that those things were possible. And also that they were, uh, you know, it was all a means to an end with him anyways. But it's just, uh, you know, the nature of that, I guess. Um, which is interesting to note. But because uh, it's like, what's, what's all that in gonna entail you know like when it comes down to the wire like like what's the only thing that can stop chuck is something like super out of his control because he controls literally everything you know and that that point also kind of comes up with uh the fact that they that chuck um shows up in this episode and not just chuck but he's with amara which i didn't um I didn't see them showing up so soon, but I did think that, like, um, if we were going to see Amara again, it's probably definitely going to have some, something to do with Chuck, obviously. Um, I just didn't expect to see Chuck so soon, I guess. Um, yeah, yeah, dude. Got the new one up. Looking good. The close-up. Because <laughs> my hair matches again. So I had shorter hair whenever I had that done. Um, hell yeah. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Chuck and Amara showing up. Chuck's really, uh, really antsy and fucking just like, hey, let's, let's bounce out of here. Um, I want you with me. And Amara picks up on like how he's like nervous and shit. And, uh, and she finds out about his wound, which mirrors Sam's wound. They're completely connected, you know. It's like, uh, uh, man, it's like, it's like Rand's, uh, wound. His wound that never heals in his side. Um, but I guess it's, that wound's not, uh, I don't know who gave him that wound, but. I, th I think they killed that guy, but the wound t is tied in with with his uh, with his power with the source. But anyways, um, uh, yeah. So the the, the <laughs> it's funny that Chuck uh, gets cucked by his own fucking gun <laughs> that he designed to like uh, like kill Jack and um, that would kill Jack uh, and Dean at the same time. So it's weird that. I mean, I guess, I don't know if he put loopholes in the gun. I doubt he thought, like, well, if I got shot with this gun, um, then I definitely won't be killed. It can kill anything but me, or whatever. I don't know what the rules are for him, like, the arbitrary power that he gave that gun. But it's obviously not... Whatever it was, it wasn't strong enough to kill him, but it's strong enough to... Um, like, pretty severely wound him, at the very least. Like, he's powerless, essentially, at the moment. Like, every... I assume all of his power is going into just, like, making sure he doesn't just, like, get any worse. Because uh, right now, like, um, even for Sam, it's just, like, a... Just a mild pain, I guess. You know, just an ache. Um, yeah, all fine. Shorter hair, bigger IQ, all makes sense. Exactly. Can show off the big brains that's how it goes um yeah so chuck is and the interesting thing is like so he's going to amara for help but is like hiding that fact but she picks up on it and i'm pretty sure she just fucks off and and uh um like she leaves I forgot what she said she was doing but she leaves he can't leave um or, like, I don't know. He said, I mean, she said he can't, like, just straight up, uh, like, leave Earth, at least. 
she can do whatever the fuck she wanted. I don't know if she left Earth or if she's just like going elsewhere. Either way, I assume it might be off Earth because if if she's going away from him, otherwise he can just like follow her, find out where she is, I guess. But interesting. So maybe we won't see Amara for a bit. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we'll definitely see more of her, but um, the the implication there, though, is that uh, that new, well, not new Jack, but Jack, you know, we haven't seen him yet. We haven't seen, the last we saw of him was, uh, you know, the season 14 finale. Um, him, he woke up, he's talking to, and uh, wasn't, wasn't Lucifer there again in the darkness, like his weird fucking black skelly boy form <laughs> um i i think that was the case but death was definitely there um and uh and and yeah possibly lucifer i think um but jack woke up and you know death's just like yeah we need to talk um so chuck is he I assume he knows that this, at the very least, that Jack went there and possibly woke up. Like, he knows the possibilities or the potential of what's going on at the very least. Um, and so he's worried probably about that, you know. That's, like, his big thing. Um, and... Uh, and he doesn't, he doesn't want, you know, like Sam and Dean and them to like have any chance, uh, since he's so pissed off right now. <laughs> um, but okay. So that Kevin, um, is just, uh, uh, you know, he's, he's sad, sad ghost boy doesn't want to be in hell. Can't go to heaven. So he's like, I'm just going to be a ghost. <laughs> like, fuck this shit. He's got a bad fucking rap in this <laughs> in this end game. Hopefully, at the very end, he does go to heaven. <laughs> they they purge uh, all the ghosts and whatnot, and it's a happy ending at least for Kevin. That'd be good. Um, and hmm, what else? Uh, the whole the whole ending of the episode was just sort of whatever. They just uh, you know got some ghosts captured and you know that's about it i don't even, yeah it was kind of like a nothing episode again and i think they're still in the town in next episode so that's kind of worrisome um i mean they're pr if i doubt they're in the town the entire episode and only at the end they like finally finish and something happens I feel like shit's gonna like happen right away, hopefully, and they get the fuck out of there and do something cool. <laughs> um, otherwise, good episode, pretty comfy. Uh, things did happen, you know. We we saw Chuck immediately. I did not see that coming. Um, or seeing Amara really. Uh, if anything, I thought she'd be like at the tail end. Um, so that was interesting. I didn't expect them to be like a part of the story right away, um, and, uh, uh, new Jack is still being a based boy, he's still just fucking around, being the goofy optimist, <laughs> um, chill lad, and, uh, I really like new Jack, I hope, uh, I hope our old boy Jack, uh, just chills for a little bit, and I think they're, that's what they're going with, that's why they're having this this new Jack guy, um, but what's he gonna do when actual Jack shows up, um, I hope to see both of them somehow, that'd be interesting, but, uh, like, I don't know if he'd just get a new body, or how that would go, whatever, you know, just get them both on screen, <laughs> uh, and I think that's literally it, I don't think anything else happened this episode, um, I should have I should have recorded this right after I watched the episode, but I was too tired because um, I I was forgetting so much stuff even as I was writing things down, kind of going over what happened uh, in the episode. But 
I knew there wasn't going to be a whole bunch to talk about, so I was like, whatever. I'll just record a kind of shitty episode here. But anyways, that's Wayward Sons, episode two. Fucking check out the next one next week. Um, hopefully more shit happens, and I'll record it immediately <laughs> so I don't forget shit. Okay, Buh bye Um... Outro song.